would you date a Chinese person? Is your family watching your YouTube channel? Are you strict? How did you learn the Chinese language? What is the name of your boyfriend and nationality? How were you able to stay back in China? Did lecturers teach in Chinese? Have you ever had any racist encounter? Is China a peaceful place to live in? Are you taken? My new channel name is going to be... Hello honeybees, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if it's your first time here, my name is Bisola, also known as Queen B. I film about my experiences as a foreigner living in China. So if there's something you're interested in, consider hitting the subscribe button and join the beautiful family. It's been a very long time I sat down to talk to you guys. And you know, just geez. So today I decided to take up my camera once again and talk to you guys. Just come closer, come closer. Okay, so enough of all the jokes. So today's video is going to be like a life update and I asked you guys to ask me questions on my Instagram and also my YouTube community tab. So I'm going to be answering all those juicy questions. I checked some of them and they're cracking me up. And I've not actually checked everything. So today we are going to be going through it together and answering all your beautiful questions. The questions are so many. Before I go on to the question and answer section, I'm just going to be telling you guys what's been up with me and what I've been doing because I didn't post last week I was extremely busy I was actually moving if you've been following me you know I am a medical student and I'm in my fifth year but right now I have started my internship like in China the sixth year of medical school is for internship like we have to go to the hospital we are going to go into the department of internal medicine surgery pediatrics and obstetrics and gynecology yeah so that is where I am you can see that I'm in a different space if you notice the background there's nothing going on there it's just a wall in my new room so yeah I moved I was busy parking and I was so stressed out so I was not even able to edit any video so that is where I am right now don't be expecting something bougie and classic you know ah uh, yeah maybe when I finish arranging my room and buying all my decorations then I'll give you guys a room tour but I want to see it in the comment section or if you want to see a room tour leave it down in the comment section below okay okay so that's basically what I've been up to and another major update that I want to let you guys know because we are family and we are doing this together is that mm -hmm, yeah the accent don't mind the accent but yeah it's okay I'm going to be changing my channel name dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yes you heard that here are my reasons for wanting to change my channel name Queen B is a lovely name and I know so many people are falling in love with it and I've also fallen in love with it and we even have a fandom name Honeybee is already anytime somebody searches Queen B on YouTube like the name doesn't come out I don't know like there are so many could be so many and I don't want to be among the many you know we want, we want to stand out we want to be unique and so like when you search for my name it can rank high yeah because we want to be the only one in the game we don't want to share our name with anybody else yeah that is my first reason for changing my channel name then I also I'm thinking about this on a long term like Queen is a nice name I love it but I'm thinking in terms of like branding my channel and stuff like that yeah so I want my channel name to be like my name I don't want it to be just like a random name when you hear the channel name I want you to think of me not of Queen B like there are so many Queen B's that's still the point I'm trying to say yeah another reason I want to change my name is that you know everything still boils down to it being not unique to me and like being a very common name that when we are getting the 100,000 subscribers plaque you know I know we are still at 20 some subscribers like almost 30 but <laughs> <gasps> the sky is the limit and the girl that made me to get 20,000 subscribers can do it again to get me to 100 subscribers so like my goal right now is to get to 100 subscribers before the end of the year why did I laugh yes my goal is to get to 100 subscribers <laughs> the end of the year and i can only get there by you guys subscribing and watching my videos raising my watch time and increasing my exposure by liking this video so if you like this video actually like press the like button so youtube can know that you like this video and recommend it to other people so other people can find the glorious the gorgeous queen b oh, i said queen b yes that is still my name for now but like we are changing it so when the hundred thousand subscribers club comes and we have a silver play button it's going to be my name dear yeah, not just queen b so some Somebody else will not come and steal my queen and say, yeah, oh, you understand what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so are you guys ready for the name reveal? Yeah, you probably know already, you know my name, but you don't know all my names. If you know all my names, write it down in the comment section before I move on with this video. My new channel name is going to be, are you ready? Musala Deborah. <laughs> 
Okay, <laughs> I do not say Obisola Deborah. I know I am a Nigerian and Nigerians call it Deborah. I know so many people will be like, why is she forming like it's Deborah? It is not Deborah. Do you want me to play from the dictionary for you? I think I should actually do that. I should do that because I don't want someone to come out and say Deborah. Let's listen together. I'm checking my phone right now. Yes, it is serious. Okay. 20 minutes later. Okay, so I found it. So now let's listen. Let's listen together. Okay. Deborah. Did you hear? Once again. Deborah. Very good. Did you hear Deborah? It is Deborah, okay? Deborah, okay? Thank you. I don't understand why people actually feel like if you're pronouncing it the right way, then you are forming. I mean, it's a language. It's just like in your own language. Let's take Yoruba. Yoruba is my language, right? So if you want to say something like, okay, yes, let me even use the name, Busola. Busola is my name. If you say Busola, I'll be like, what are you saying? It's just the same thing. So it is Busola Deborah, okay? Thank you guys. So that is my new channel name. The next video you're going to be seeing is going to be with this channel name. But I know you guys are already familiar with Queen B. I'm still going to be called Queen B, okay? Just that my channel name is now going to be Busola Deborah. Like that's what you're going to be seeing when you receive the notification. It's going to be Busola Deborah, okay? I feel this video is going to be super, super, super long. So get your your popcorn get your snack get anything you want to get let's enjoy let's just you know together i have my cup of water here yeah i said water you got me right yeah water ah drink water and mind your business if you got to this point in this video right drink water and mind your business okay that's not the real g it's people that are sticking around with me yeah okay so now i'm going to the q and a i have my phone here and i'm going to be reading the questions from instagram here i've seen some of them let's open them together oh my god there are so many questions so many questions can you see this okay not so many but like many and i also have some on youtube so i'm going to be answering from instagram for then i'll go to youtube okay so let's start from the oh this one i'm actually excited the last time i did a q and a was with my chinese friends if you've not checked it you can check it out which side i don't know i'm using the camera for the first time i don't know you can check it out wherever i pop up yeah and the second time also with my chinese friends actually we did a live video there was some questions but today it's just me uh, okay another question before i move on is like are we sticking to honeybees i think we've kind of gotten familiar with the name what do you guys think should we change it <laughs> where's the accent coming from i don't understand write down in the comment section if you want us to stick with honeybees or if you want us to change the name okay so the first question is do you play iMessage games i don't play simple i actually have so many questions so i'm going to keep it simple and short and maybe the one that catches my attention a lot i'm going to you know excruciate you know. do you feel pressure to constantly upload videos since flowing so quickly i don't feel the pressure to upload but i feel like i have the opportunity now like to monetize my content and of course the more content you put out there the more money you can get so like it's not really a pressure but like i just feel like oh i have the opportunity let me make use of it because i have been praying to get monetized so now that i am monetized i should put out more content but like not pressure from people should i say the names okay i'm going to mention the names of the people that i'm answering the questions this video is going to be super long like i told you this question last question was from life with luck or oh, life with luck asks so many questions okay best and worst part about living in china i made a video of the five things i love about china five things i hate about china i'll put them in the description box so you can check it out top three things you do when you are feeling unmotivated most times i feel unmotivated when i am in the same space so like i leave the space that i'm in and go somewhere else so i can at least breathe fresh air okay and another thing i do is i pray yeah prayer works a lot a lot i just like play worship songs and pray along speaking tongues and i feel a lot more better whenever i do that another thing i do is i listen to music and i dance i dance like i just start dancing and then the mood comes out like i feel better like most time i'm all motivated when i'm not in a good mood so like i feel better and then i can pick up things and start doing them the next question is from jenny Unguye. i'm sorry if i'm butchering this name i'm sorry how long have you been living in china so i've actually been living in china for four years now this is by faith e underscore e23 why didn't you post the video last sunday i mentioned earlier i was extremely busy and i didn't have the time to edit that was why i did not post but today you have a video the next question is from kirishinya i'm sorry i feel like i'm killing this name but <clears throat> do you plan to stay in china like date and marry or settle down there no simple and short were you scared when going i've heard a lot of rumors of racism in china when i came to china i was like 17 years old so like 
I'm somebody I don't think a lot. I don't get scared a lot. So no, I was not scared when I was going to China. And I do not know a lot about China before coming actually. From where are you getting your makeup and hair there? It's always so pretty. Oh, thank you. Um, makeup, okay, let's talk about what we are wearing right now. <laughs> okay, makeup I actually just get online. Like Taobao, Pindodo, you can get anything literally you need in China on those apps. And for my hair, I get them also online. But this particular hair was sent to me by hair company in China. I reviewed it in this video. You can check it out. The next question is from Sol on this course so so. How did you decide to study medicine in China? Okay, so I have a sister who was studying here before I came, so it's kind of like easy for me to come to China. So that was why I decided to come to study here. Next one is also by Sol. So so <laughs> thank you to everyone who actually engaged in this post. I was not expecting this so many questions, but I'm so happy like you guys want to know more about me. And you know, I'm so delighted. Thank you. Here I am answering the questions. Also, was it hard to apply? What are the grades needed? I'm interested in doing the same. So um, basically, you just have to have good grades in your senior school certificate. So it's not very hard to apply because I had someone here. And even if you don't have someone like their agent would do this. Try C underscore Nkata. <laughs> Let me say again. I'm sorry if I'm killing these names. I want to learn martial arts. What place do you know in China that teaches it? Actually, I don't really know so much about it. So. I'm sorry. Um, the next one is underscore Bella underscore 072. You never told us about your most cutest and pretty friend Bella. Tell us about her. Bella is my friend. She's very cute and pretty. <laughs> okay, so Bella, everybody knows you sweet lover here. What's your favorite Chinese cuisine? Okay, so there are so many delicious yummy Chinese food you can get here but of late the one I love the most is Chongqing Jigongbao it's so lovely it's I don't know how to describe it but maybe I'll put a picture somewhere here for you guys to see Raheloy.n what country do you live in before you move to China uh, so I'm a Nigerian and I lived in Nigeria before moving to China. Zona Mubak said, Are you Muslim? I love you. I'm not Muslim, but I have so many Muslim friends and I love you too. I feel like I've just been looking down since I should look more at you guys. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm sorry. This is my first time like doing this alone. Let's do this. And uh, T underscore Chan said, For learning Chinese, which books or apps, website or resources would be best for beginners? Okay, so for me, I learned Chinese while I was in school here, so it was quite easy. But well, I'm also learning French and I use this app called Duolingo so you can try it out. I watch videos on YouTube, there's so many resources on YouTube literally so you can just search whatever you, you're seeking to learn, just search on YouTube and you will definitely find answers. Trust me, okay? Trust me on that. FortuneAmadi.7 said, girl, when is your next video? Guy or oh girl, this is my next video, you're watching it right now. And I actually post weekly, like I post on Sundays but I was trying to post like Thursdays and Sundays but man it's difficult to post twice a week so i'm sticking to sunday because i'm still a student i'm still going to classes i'm still going to hospitals so yeah just sundays okay tsb underscore said how long would you like to stay in china after your graduation i have just one more year like my internship year so not so long maybe not at all matemba six said how are you and what made you start youtube I'm fine, thank you for asking how are you too. Why did I start my YouTube channel? Actually, I'm somebody who loves to take pictures and videos and stuff. So I had friends who would encourage me like, why not start a YouTube channel? One day I was just like, that is it. I got interested in it and I started researching about it and boom, I opened my YouTube channel and here we are today. Thank you guys for joining this family. If you've been here from the very beginning, I love you. The next one is by Bula74. Most requested question, do you love Tibet? Tan people and do you want to visit Thai? Is it Thai or Tibet? I'm sorry, but you understand. Love you so much. I love you too. Actually, I don't know so much about that place and I don't know so much about the people, so I don't really have an opinion on that. The same person also said, I asked one question, hope you would answer it, and I really love watching your videos. No need for Netflix. Oh my god, that's so cute. Thank you so much for loving my video. This means so much to me. Thank you. Underscore Rem DV said, Is your family watching your YouTube channel? 
definitely my dad is my biggest fan like anytime i post a new video like it's supposed to post to all the groups i see now like oh my god thank you dad if you are watching this video i know you're gonna watch it thank you i love you and my mom also watches my youtube channel she said anytime she misses me she watches my channel just to see my face and see what her daughter is up to my sister is the one my youtube channel too yeah so yeah my family why do you have a youtube channel that your family is not watching like why can you answer the question rahel loy okay i've seen this person before what are you planning after you finish school i'll let you guys know when i get there like at every point in time like we are coming together so when i get to that point i will update you on what's going on with my life Okay. Shadainea.y says, what is your full name? Are you sure you want to know? Are you sure? Okay, so my full name is Adeko Lorejo Oluwa Busolami Deborah Moyolua. Yes. TK underscore Wilt3 said, not a question, but you look gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Would you date a Chinese person? <laughs> okay, I actually have no problem dating a Chinese person. It's not really about where you're from is about who you are i'm more concerned about your beliefs your values just those basic things if you care about me if you love god if you're a chinese and you believe in god yeah i can date you yeah because i don't believe in dating just for fun i believe if you're dating somebody that means you're dating for the purpose of marriage yeah so i don't mind i underscore am dot glorious what is the one thing you want to overcome or conquer hmm deep question i have to think i don't know okay um i think it would be like um not letting other people's opinion of me define me because like sometimes i don't realize this like people's opinion like matter like people that actually matter to me like their opinion should matter right but like i should also have an opinion of my own like, i don't want people's opinion of me to overshadow my own opinion of myself con underscore ges underscore do you also have chinese guy friends love your videos thank you for loving my videos yes i have chinese guy friends not boyfriend like boyfriend but like friends and guys yes i have some but very few actually do i think one or two underscore brace face underscore adri are you straight i don't understand what you mean do i look bent oh huh? <laughs> marilyn underscore adeze i miss you on your pictures oh thank you i'll be back soon there you go heart b underscore 17 how do you deal with uncertainty in life okay i love these questions actually because it makes me think because i realize i've not really been thinking these days you can't really be sure about anything in life can you like life is kind of a leap of faith fine we make plans but like we can't really say oh my plans are going to work like we can't be very sure because we also have the covid 19 situation that is destroying the whole world like it's affecting the whole world so like i just take one step at a time and believe that everything will be fine and i believe strongly in god so i believe he won't let me down or whatever plan he has for me is the best yeah i just take one step at a time so on today's episode of what of the day i'm going to be teaching you how to say what is your name i discovered that this same words are quite short and might not really be useful because you don't know how to use it in a sentence so i've decided to like make it into a sentence for you now it's no longer going to be word of the day it's just going to be let's give it a name chinese corner on today's episode of chinese corner oh, that sounds cool okay on today's episode of chinese corner i'm going to be teaching you how to say what is your name in chinese you can say this is quite long but like you can memorize it and use it and in the next episode i'm going to be teaching you how to reply this question so how to say my name is blah 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 Ying Yung underscore Chen 21. How did you learn the Chinese language? Because I am so confused right now. <laughs> Sorry about your confusion, but actually what I did majorly was I practiced a lot. I was interested, okay? You have to be interested about what you are doing because if you're not, <laughs> you're not gonna do anything. Yeah, so I read a lot. I had a target for each day and I actually made a video of how I learned Chinese. So check it out, girl. Chen dot N Chan. Oh my god. Air, okay sorry i can't pronounce what do you use for your hair ah uh, my hair has gone through a lot of stages in life so like i use different things of, at different points but like right now i made a video of how i take care of my hair in china so i'll link it up here you can check it out absa today the question that everybody has been waiting for i know i know right what is the name of your boyfriend and nationality and she also puts cover face why are you covering your face sister when the time is right i will disclose that to you guys okay 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 thank you 
Miss underscore Shane said, Can you tell us more about your classmate reaction the first day in school? Every Friday night in school is in the same dormitory. So the day I came, I arrived like at midnight. So I had two roommates. They were, they were Indians. They were nice to me. I was not the first African in my class. There were like three of them before me. It was cool. There was no particular reaction. Miss underscore Shane also said, Can you make a video of your friends trying Nigerian food? Okay, so in my live video, I did a live video when I hit 20,000, when we hit 20,000 subscribers, so you can check it out, and Lily, if you know Lily, if you've been following me, you know Lily, she tried um, Nigerian food, so you can check it out there. Um, she also said, have you ever dated any Chinese guy? If yes, I would was. No, I haven't. After graduation, are you planning to stay in China? Oh, Miss Shane, you have so many questions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shout out to you, Miss underscore Shane. Thank you for engaging in my post. <laughs> Can you do a vlog of you eating hot pot? Okay, thank you for the idea. I would consider the new one of this day. So watch out for the vlog. And how old is your natural hair? My hair has actually been natural my whole life. If you are saying how long did it take me to have this grown beautiful hair, I would say um, four years, like since I came to China. That was when I started taking care of my hair. I learned a lot about hair care, and that was when I started maintaining my hair. Before that, my hair was trash. You can check my Instagram stories of my hair growth, like my hair before and my hair now like you can check on my story highlights so if you're not following me on instagram you can check out my instagram here the queen bee i think i'm going to change my instagram name too in total like i think i've not cut my hair my hair in oh this is how to calculate this is when i was in primary six but the quality was terrible you can check it out by yourself that's all for the instagram now let's go to youtube this video is going to be extremely long oh my god 35 questions so let's start sunny girls said do people ask to take pictures when you go out all the time and it's annoying and i love your videos yes people ask to take pictures every single time it's annoying when i'm not in the mood <laughs> but sometimes i don't mind because it makes them happy and why not they're just curious and excited have you ever come across someone you wanted to ask out in china i love your videos uh no thank you also for loving my videos black gold said if you decide to stay in China after graduating, would you marry and date a Chinese girl? Oh, why are you guys so much interested in me dating a Chinese girl? I'm like, why? And are Chinese guys open to dating black women? Would their families accept the relationship? Black gold, I think this is a very good video idea. So I'm going to film a video, okay? For you especially. Okay, let me just answer your question too. I don't plan to date and marry a Chinese guy. And are Chinese guys open to dating? I feel it depends on the guy and like different people have different things, but like mostly, most of them are not open to dating. There are some of them that are like people who are born out of the country and are exposed, might not have any problem with it. So Dave PSK said, how have you found China life today versus your life back in Nigeria? Okay, so there are two questions, but I'll answer this one first. And I think life in China is very comfortable. Like you pretty much have everything you want, like everything you need, you can get it. Yeah, I've been exposed to a lot of things like um, new cultures, that I would not be exposed to if I'm in Nigeria, like my brain has expanded, okay? Yeah, so I've learned a lot. In Nigeria, I had a nice time, but I was not really going out a lot. I was mostly at home, church, school. Yeah, that was basically my triangle. So I didn't really have so much experience there. Like now I'm open to more things. Do you have any experience or knowledge you wish to bring back to Nigeria to share with them? apart from your studies thank you in advance my queen <laughs> i love the way chinese system is very timely like they are very disciplined whatever they do like whenever they decide to do something they put their heart their soul and their body into it so like that's something that i've learned and i wish we can also adopt as a country because it will make us very better taj said what do you usually do in your daily life watch tvs watch shows or movies do you walk around do you drink alcohol is it common over there okay so what i do in my daily life my life is kind of boring not really boring but like i don't really watch movies not like i don't like movies but i just <laughs> don't have time for movies yeah i just feel like i can spend my time developing myself instead of watching movies that's the way i feel okay what do i do i watch youtube videos i read i read my bible i read self-help books i also read my school book i exercise what do i do mostly youtube like i learn things on youtube i listen to songs on youtube i watch vlogs yeah my life is living on youtube i, I don't drink and yeah drinking alcohol is very common here it's like when you go to a chinese family home like they welcome you with alcohol and cigarettes like they actually do you want to smoke do you want to drink that's how they welcome you but i just don't like it so i don't i totally forgot we are sipping water here 
Mm. Are you guys enjoying the juice so far? If you got here, high sip water in the comments. I'm literally thirsty. Okay, the next question. This is by Edria Arashi. I've been learning Chinese, but through YouTube courses, cause really Duolingo is not helpful at all. So do you recommend books or apps or anything, whatever it is that can help? Thank you. Actually, I use Duolingo, so like, I don't know why it's not helpful for you, but it really helped me. Not for Chinese anyway, like I'm learning French and it's really helpful. I'm a server. I can see a reply under the comment. Gianna Tozum said, have you heard of Mandarin Kona before? I recommend a straight interview and podcast. So I actually just checked her and it's good. So you can try that out. Thank you, Gianna, for recommending. Now, it may have Danielle there. So I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos about beekeeping and commercial skill. So the first time your channel popped on my timeline, I thought it was another beekeeper's channel. After all, you are going to be. I fell in love with your content the first day and I remained glued. Oh my god, this is so heartwarming. Thank you. The bee actually is a good thing. The fact that bee is in the name. Maybe we should not change it. <laughs> Just kidding. Pretty Bay said, how were you able to stay back in China during the corona break? Actually, people who are not here right now are people who went back home. So I was here throughout the corona break. Yeah, even I was tempted to go back several times but I stayed here and that is why I'm here. Gina Luo, newly subscribed and loving your content. My timely question is were you or your city or school affected by the flooding? Oh, uh, thank you for subscribing and actually I heard about the flooding in China but like China is quite big so like no. No, I'm not affected by the flooding. Thanks for asking. Patch said, how is the music there? Can you play songs from outside China like on Spotify and YouTube and who is your favorite artist? Okay, the music here, do you mean Chinese music? Yeah, it's cool. I actually like to listen to Chinese music because, okay, here is also one way you can learn Chinese if you are thinking of learning. It's like you can listen to their music. So I used to listen to a lot of music back then and I would try to sing along and learn the lyrics and it's a stick because like it's a music, right? Free tip for you. Can I play song from outside China? Yeah, like you are watching YouTube right now and I'm able to access YouTube. So yeah, I can use YouTube to watch any song I want to watch. Yeah. And who's your favorite artist? I'm not really somebody that has favorite 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 thing so to be honest no i don't have a favorite that is jamela sterling said has there been anyone that bullied or tried to bully in public no and later she said if so i'm so sorry no 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 bully victoria abia said can you recommend apps for learning mandarin i'm so happy about the community out there like you guys are so sweet you guys are so lovely under this comment and that comment is they already recommending like i mean you guys are in the work already Ooh, i'm proud of you all in these uh -huh. okay so someone did comment and hello Chinese and super Chinese are very good and the person uses those so you can try that out I used to use Duolingo but somebody said it was not helpful but you can also try it out it might be helpful for you and what's your favorite TV show movie or anime I'm sorry to disappoint you but I don't really have favorite things I should actually have but I don't know why I don't have Sonic Richard said culture shock similarities best experiences in China things you are looking forward to I think you should prank Lily for a video oh my god this is a good idea comment down below what prank video I should do with Lily. This sounds very interesting. What prank video should I do with Lily if you agree with this? Um, I think she would be so funny. Tell her you're leaving China or something or something of your choice. Oh, so you already gave an idea or something of my choice. Okay, so this is one idea. If you guys have more ideas, you can put it down in the comment section. Let's keep the comments rolling. Culture shock. Okay, so one is this. I'm not going to mention so many because this video is already super long. When they are using the bathroom, like so many people leave the door open. I don't do that. If you do that in your country, let me know in the comment section. Maybe it's just me that I'm different. How did you get to study in China? So many questions about who. The lecturers teach in Chinese. Oh, it depends on the school actually. Like my school, we are taught in English, but so many schools are taught in Chinese. So make your research and make sure the school you are choosing is in the language you're comfortable with. Mia J. Mason said, What was the process like applying? to get a college in China any tip that you would give somebody there that also wants to apply to a college there so I am seeing a lot of questions about studying in China and stuff like that so maybe I'll make a video about that I'm not promising okay don't hold me jolly aim have you ever had any racist encounters with anyone I hope not uh, like I said in one of the videos like my struggles of living in China you can check it out here I won't really call it racist because I feel like so many Chinese are not exposed to the outer world because of the restriction on the country so I don't really blame them 
or acting some kind of way i rather call it ignorance will you return to nigeria after graduating or will you stay and work in china i'm not saying i'm working in china just stay tuned okay a random girl said here are my questions sorry if it's a lot it's actually a lot oh my god anything that is disrespectful in china that may not seem disrespectful to anyone outside that country so i don't want this video to be super long so i made a video with my chinese friends explaining like i actually asked you guys to ask them questions so like i'll link the video up here so you can check it out this question was answered watch the old video okay is china a peaceful place to live in yes china is very peaceful like i've not really had any fight or any china is just extremely peaceful and it's very safe like i literally come back to my room 2 a.m sometimes like it's that safe what are some things that somebody needs to know before visiting china this is the old lot i don't think i can answer right now are there any special holidays or events that take place there are so many chinese holidays so 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 many i can't even begin to list them now um are the people friendly yes chinese people are very friendly they're very curious and when you let them into your even if you don't let them into your space they will come into your space that's it actually is it easy to make friends mm, i can't really say it depends on both parties like they are always willing to be your friends but like some of them are shy and some of them would just want to be your friend because you're a foreigner so like i don't really like that type of friendship you can be friends like that but like mostly if you want to make friends you have to be the one to take the first move because they're usually very shy um do a lot of people speak english okay all these things i'm saying is based on my experience like in my city because i am in guyan city and it's not really really developed if you go to places like shanghai beijing shenzhen like you would see people that have different mindset there are a lot of people that speak english there but like in my city mm -mm, not really jilin's diary says how can i learn chinese when i'm not in china there are actually a lot of resources out there like you can check youtube like literally everything is on youtube search how to learn this in chinese blah blah blah, blah. like just search whatever you need to learn just practice pretty bay how is medicine studies in china this is a old video on its own so maybe i'll do a video like that donna van johnson how long have you been living in china four years are you currently talking to someone <laughs> yeah 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 how many languages do you know okay so i speak english i speak yoruba i speak chinese i speak a little bit of french i know a little bit of spanish and can you consider teaching english for a bit yeah because i know how to speak pidgin english let's say six yeah ellie doso said can you answer me on instagram i don't know what's your handle message me again i have so many dms spot sites are you taken are you taken okay so this is the last question and if you made it up to this point i'm going to answer this question for you yes i am taken okay i am taken these are not engagement these are fashion rates <laughs> but yes i am taken okay i am out of the market not searching okay i'm out of the market this was so much fun to film i don't know if you guys can tell if you guys could tell i was really enjoying myself and having a nice time and let's take my last sip of water okay so if you actually made it to this point like you guys are the real g's like ooh, i fear you guys mm -mm, say no more yeah so if you made it to this point comment say no more and thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to give this video a like uh share this video with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe to this family okay and be a part of the honeybees i love you Mwah.